What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the next part of our Gun Doubles Wide Flex Mini Scheme free giveaway uh, for the New England Patriots Offensive Playbook. Now if you're new to the channel and you haven't met me yet, my name is Cody. My channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're wanting to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you as a Madden player to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now really quick before we go any further, if you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video. Um, I broke down the entire New England Patriots offense, uh, all of the trips tight end stuff, all of the split close, everything all in one offensive guide that you can get down in the description if you want the complete tutorial or the complete playbook broken down then I would hit that up. It's really, really good. It's gonna, It's honestly, um, it's probably gonna be the best offense next year in Madden 22. I just can't see any other playbook being better than New England right out of the gate. I think New England has been the best playbook for several years, and I think it's gonna continue in Madden 22. So you got everything that you need, all the routes, all of the uh, formations, and all of the runs. So I would, hurt, I would really encourage you, get the New England guide and start getting ready for Madden 22. With that, we're going to be talking about this play, Flood. This play is really, really fun. Um, it really does pair nicely with the Y uh, sail. So you see Y sail, see the route that X is on. Now, if I go to Flood, you see that it's now a rounded in route. So I really like that. And it's basically a levels concept. And I love levels concepts. So, um, what we're going to do, and we also get this nice little fade route to Mike Evans. Again, this formation is all about spacing. I can't stress that enough. Now, I'm telling you right now, they are going to climb with their user to X. Um, so I want to show you the other stuff that's going to be more um, likely that you're going to hit first. But just know it's very likely that they're going to kind of sit in this box when they're running their meta Mabel coverage. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work some other concepts uh, out of this. So first things that I like to do, um, you don't really have to make any adjustments. The one thing I would say is I would put the R1 on a wheel route. Um, I just find that the wheel route's really, really good against man and zone from this formation. Um, and that's pretty much it. And at the snap of the ball, as we notice that they're gonna climb, we're just gonna go right down here, right down there. Easy dump off, easy, 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 easy read. That route right there is so significant to this offense because of how quick he can get underneath. If they climb with the tight end, if they climb with the tight end, you are throwing underneath every single time and you're making them respect this drag route. That's the beauty of levels. So right, they climb, easy underneath read. Okay? So what they're gonna do, um, just kind of from experience, I know this, what they're going to do is they're going to basically sit on the drag and then they're going to go to the post or the dig, um, which is actually a pretty good way to play this. Honestly, it's probably the best way to play it. So what that's going to look like is basically, let's just say they take the drag and then they go to the X. Okay. Well, once they do that, this is where I really like, you know, again, you can do whatever you want with the running back. But if you look to this left side, you're going to see that this corner route, the triangle, Typically, we'll get in a really soft spot of a, a Mabel or a cover three. Um, it's really good, especially if they put their clouds or their curl flats on 10, um, or not 10, their curl flats on uh, five. It's going to be a little bit more open. But if that's the case, another little thing that you can do is you can motion this running back to the left, just like this. And now you're going to have a like kind of underneath route that they're going to have to respect. This is just going to help open up more lane for that throw right there. That throw is um, one of those throws that I think you have to trust it. It's it is good, um, but you do have you certainly have to trust that throw. You need to test it out with gunslinger. It's a lot better um, if you have a gunslinger quarterback. It's a lot easier to fit it in that window. This um, if you don't want to do that route, okay. If you don't want to do that route, an easy alternative. An easy alternative is to create a curl flat. So we're gonna put triangle on a flat. We're gonna put square on a curl route. The reason I like this is because we can throw that flat route quick against most of the meta because most of the time they're not gonna cover that little quick out because again, we've gotta think leverage and spacing. This is what spread does. 
it spreads you out and it gives you really good spacing. So if they're playing like something like this zone coverage right here that we're seeing, then what we can do is we can run an out and a curl on that left side. Watch this out route just get wide open on the sideline for about 10 to 15 yards. Okay, that's a nice, easy little read that will make them have to pay for not uh, putting their curl flats on five yards. Um, and then obviously if they, uh, I wanna show you the rest of this route here. So the, the curl flat being on 10 will do decent against the curl route. Um, but you, you see that, see how there's not a window to throw the curl route? That's fine, that's fine. Um, you just have to be a little bit, I think, a, you just have to be a little bit intentional about it because that's where your flat route's gonna come in. So what you're gonna do is you're reading, when you're looking at this, you most people when they run a curl flat, they only throw the curl route. You wanna be, as a good, pa a good uh, passer, you want to be able to throw this flat. So just pass lead left, let the computer rack it upfield for you, and get a couple of yards. What this is gonna force them to do as a defense is it's gonna force them to have to put their curl flats on five. Once they put their curl flats on five, then you're gonna notice that it's a lot more open, okay? Um, so if they did something like, you know, this, and then let's say that they, let's just say that they take the flat just to kind of imitate it without having to change all my settings. I just want you to see it like this. So if you see something like this, and this is honestly a very popular way to defend a uh, gun spread because everybody's worried about the scene. I like I also like a ghost route to the back, uh, by the way, if you have that ability, uh, either a ghost route or a wheel route, one of those two. But anyways, what you'll see is now they go there and now look at all that space that we've now created to throw the route to Mike Evans. So that's, a, that's another easy little read that you can mix into this. Another thing that we want to talk about just really quickly here is the quick out to, to the square receiver. So when you're running gun spread, one of the things that you can really do that's, I think, really, really good um, when you're running a levels concept, especially when you're running a levels concept, is to take this triangle receiver and streak him up the seam as a vertical read. And then you've got this nice little quick out that you can hit to square. If they're playing cover three, you can throw that out route every single time without fail. It will always be open. If they're playing cover three, that route is always open. Then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see they're gonna start doing something to this extent right here, which I know I'm already, you know, this is, so once you start to establish that, they're gonna go to something like this defense where this outside guy is now on a hard flat essentially. Again, the five yard, the, I wanna stress that the five yard uh, zone is what they're gonna have to do to stop it. You'll see like a 10 yard cut, it's not gonna stop it. So if they're not getting flying out there, you know that it's 10 yards, you can easily take your easy underneath read. So then what's gonna happen is, obviously they're gonna, they're gonna take it away, so let's just man him up just to kind of imitate that. And now their Mabel's coming inside out like this basically. And then this is where, uh, kind of similar to the other read, now this little seam read that we have to triangle, we're gonna pass lead that to the outside, right up the seam, easy, quick read. Okay, that's a route you can consistently target. The one thing I would say about that is honestly, it's probably the best way to defend it, but that's where you're mixing up who's on that underneath route because they can't, like let's say they're doing this. Okay, let's say they do that coverage and then they're over here on this side. Now what you can do as an offense is your curl flat is gonna be a little bit more open now. So if you see this right here, see how he pulls that outside zone. And if I have Gunslinger, that's a completion. Okay, but that's what I'm talking about. Now, all the while, I just wanna really, I really wanna focus on that side because I'm just telling you from experience running this a lot, they're going to wanna use the tight end. That's where their user is gonna to wanna to go if we can force them to have to do some other stuff on that side, then it's gonna leave them, you know, maybe they have to come over here and take care. If they start over here on this left side, this is where this route to the tight end becomes really, really good. Um, so you'll see there's just so much room and he just holds the middle. Now, again, I wanna really stress for most people, he's gonna hold their user. 
But if they're not respecting that tight end route, you can throw that route. That's an easy read. It beats man and it beats zone. So like if they go to man, if they go to zone coverage, I like to motion the tight end out a little bit here. Just uh, part of the reason is just for spacing. You can do this if you don't want to motion. It's fine. But he just gets better spacing, and you'll see when he cuts inside, he's going to beat man coverage. Um, what about the blitz really quickly? Uh, this is a really good play against the blitz. So if they're blitzing you, you're going to see something to this effect. And this play is pretty good, especially when you use that wheel route. So the wheel route to the back against man, against the blitz, is really, really successful. You'll see it gets wide open every single time. So what they're going to do to try to counter the pressure um, is they're going to go to something like this, where they put this guy in kind of a, let's just say they put this guy in man coverage on him, and now you're going to see something essentially like, like this right here, where they're really over-pursuing onto the running back. Well, that's where you can work this, uh, this curl flat. You can also work the circle receiver. Um, if they're pressing you, you can even throw it. Like, if they're pressing you, you can even leave that, leave that fade over there on the left side. So, like, let's say they – because I forgot. If they're, if they're in cover zero and they're pressing you – uh, this route to square is a one is typically going to be a one play score. See how it just gets right over the top, easy read, right? So you have you know some options against man to man coverage um, that you can go to. So this play is just a really nice little uh, complement to the play Y sale. Um, it's just really simple. It's there's really nothing you know if the cornerbacks are backed off. I really love to throw this out route to square. And if the cornerbacks are pressed up, then obviously we have to go on a little bit of tendency, but it's really unlikely that you're gonna get a press man situation. If they're pressed, they're probably shading over top. And when they're shading over top, this is where these curl routes and these drags become really, really handy. Just simple pass lead inside curl, easy read, easy money. So that is the play flood. If you wanna get the entire New England Patriots offensive guide that I've put together, that literally breaks down every formation in the New England Patriots playbook. You can get that down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.